Hello my friends and welcome to this tutorial and guide for the Milano hole number 8 par 4. Also this is hole number 8 in the Vegas Sundown tournament and we play from the first tee which is the rookie division. And I'm going to go through this hole and, and try to tell you how to play this hole in the best way possible. And this is a new hole and I'm so excited to play this one and I'm going to tell you two ways actually how to play this one in the best way. These holes got released today and we are of course going to want to be a stay aw staying away from the rough here. We're going to play with a mauling ball here and we're going to go with the mauling here. So as you can see here if you do have the top spin on your driver you could be able to reach and bounce over here. It's like that is a very aggressive way to play and that is something that will keep you close to the green. You will do have some distance here. So if we pull out a ball that should be a little bit more distance, then we should be able to reach there also with that 4.2. Otherwise you play up here. So I'm going to show this way actually, as I'm going to pull off max top spin, max size. We're going to go with a little bit of curl. I'm going to go there and we're going to go with the curl that we do have on our bag. We slightly overpowered it, even though we did have the win. But we want to bounce here and want to bounce over and put ourselves nicely there on the fairway to give ourselves a great opportunity to go for the green in two. I know this is a little bit more aggressive way to play. And if we do want to take the safe route, we take the route that our opponent is playing at. This will allow you to have an open way to the green which will give you an easy way to make a birdie but I want to show you the a little bit more aggressive way as that is a way that people are looking for especially in a tournament and if you do have tailwind I do suggest that you actually try to go over there even though you put the water in play so our turn here we do have a lot of green to work with we're going to shake here do it fall down as you can see here in the end it do falls down a little bit here quicker should be staying uh, nicely there on the foregreen uh, or on the fairway there close but we rather want to play with a, a short iron here that do give us a little bit of um, room to use some backspin as you will be able to see here we we'll go, go with min distance with our hornet lining it up here we're going to see if we can find spot 2.2 don't gonna need uh, much adjustment as we do have win, uh, min distance line it up here we're going to bounce 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 and we are close to making it drop for an eagle on this part four and so my friends this was hole number eight and uh, one of the new holes of the milano and this is how you play it in a little bit of an aggressive way. As you can see, we do have a marlin ball, which uh, makes us have to a little bit of overpower. Should be making it otherwise. I don't suggest you go this way if you do have sidewind or if you do have headwind. So only go in this way if you do have tailwind and you feel confident that you will be able to reach over there otherwise you go with a safe route you take the route to the right and go from there see if our opponent here actually it's hard for our opponent to actually see where the ball is when he's in the bushes here so hit it good and we're going to pot it in and give ourselves the win on this hole number eight uh, that I do like a lot. So if you do have any questions, please speak up in the comment section below and I will be happy to help you out. If you do want to have any more specific into, uh, help about the tournament, check out patreon.com slash golfclashtommy. And thank you and I wish you the best of luck in the Vegas Sundown Tournament.